with the introduction of spatial audio, everyone now wants to know, how can I mix and make spatial music? Do you need a $100,000 console? Do you need a crazy version of Pro Tools that will cost you thousands of dollars? No. You can mix audio for Apple Spatial Music on any doll for free. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can mix spatial audio using the same Dolby Atmos production suite tools that the pros use. You may be asking, do I need a full Dolby Atmos surround sound system? Well, the answer to that is actually no. Instead, we're going to use the binaural modeling available in the Dolby Atmos renderer, which will allow us to use headphones and simulate different types of surround environments. In the first part of this series, I'm going to be walking you guys through how to install all the software you need to get up and running. And it's only two pieces of software, so it's really not that bad as you might think. The chart behind you will be a useful reference as it shows the main signal flow and how the Dolby Atmos renderer actually works. Essentially, you have the Dolby Atmos enabled workstation, aka your DAW, for example, Pro Tools, which will then send audio to the Dolby Atmos renderer. The Dolby Atmos renderer, in essence, acts like a second DAW. You will use the renderer to output all the information to your actual headphones or surround sound setup. The first piece of software we'll need to install is the Dolby Atmos production suite and we're going to be using the 90 day free trial on it which should be plenty of time for you to get started in surround mixing. The link to that will be in the description below. It's important to note that you will need an iLock in order to use it which if you guys don't know what it is it's free and I'll leave a video tutorial in the description below on how you guys can set up your iLock. You can also use iLock Cloud so you don't need an actual USB dongle. Next is a piece of truly free software which is the Dolby Atmos Music Panner. Once you've downloaded the Dolby Atmos DMG, open it up and scroll to the installation type page. There are many different options here and I recommend checking everything except for the renderer remote. The Dolby Atmos renderer is the actual program you'll be using. The LTC generator plugin is what will allow the doll to communicate the time code to the renderer. It's very important that you check the Pro Tools and Nuendo templates if you're using those dolls. You also have to check the Dolby Audio Bridge. It's very important that you listen to me right now. The Dolby Audio Bridge will require your computer to restart at the end of this installation. So watch this video till the end and then continue the installation and restart your computer. Now after you've restarted your Mac, you want to open up whatever DAW that you're using and you want to check and see if the Dolby Audio Bridge is there. Chances are you probably don't see the Dolby Audio Bridge under the setup or under your list of audio devices. And in that case, we need to go to security and privacy and where that little red line is right there, it will say something Dolby and you'll want to allow that setting and then things should be all good from there. So once you do that, you'll want to restart your DAW and finally you can open up your DAW again and in my case I opened up Logic and you should be able to see Dolby Audio Bridge as one of the settings and then you're good to go from there. That's it for part one of this tutorial. Now you'll want to look in the description of this video and you'll see all the different tutorials on how to actually get started mixing for each individual DAW and how to set up render room because the steps do slightly vary for each DAW. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I waited till the very end of the video to ask you guys this because I didn't want to annoy you, but please try to do it if you are interested in surround mixing and more spatial audio content. I'm probably being one of the only channels posting about how to do a lot of mixing with this stuff. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.